Fly Rasta. Fly Rasta actually is an is a idea that I had for probably 30 years. Um, and um, it's just a celebratory song of where my spiritual journey started from. Um, growing up in Jamaica, around my father, it was the philosophies of Rasta that began my spiritual journey into finding myself and finding what this, the idea of God and the idea of you know humanity and all of these kind of philosophies and spirituality that was out there. So I started writing this song many, many years ago when I just started growing my locks, when I just started to embrace um, Rasta. And then um, I haven't touched the topic of Rasta for many years now on my records. And I felt like I wanted to come home in a way. I wanted to kind of reach back and express it again. And so that's what Fly Rasta is. It's just a celebration of, the, of, of my roots, really. So I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do something different than what I'd done before from the last record. I wanted to do something I'd written down like I wanted to be futuristic from, for, for reggae. Um, I wanted it to push the boundaries. I wanted the production to be of the highest quality. And um, that was very important for me. Um, I wanted to have the best musicians I could find playing the music. And um, I wanted to have songs, complete songs. I didn't want to put fillers into the record. I wanted songs that were complete and done. I didn't want to just put a song in there because I need to fill space. Um, so I had all these things written down on a piece of paper, which I shared with um, Dave Cooley, who helped um, right. with production on the album. And um, he, he did a lot for me, you know, talking to him and um, him giving me ideas about structure of the songs, melodic arcs and the, 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 the arrangement and stuff like that. It really opened my mind. So this record, I think, is a, a, very, a record that there's a lot of knowledge that was put into it that I think I didn't have before. What were some of your thoughts and processes behind, like, say, I don't want to live on Mars? Yeah, I don't want to live on Mars. I wanted to write a song about the environment, about, you know, the, the, we have global warming, and I wanted to, to say something about that issue, but I didn't want to preach. I didn't want to song, yeah, 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 global warming, global warming. I wanted to do a song that was fun, and um, that was e easy to listen to without anybody being turned off by, oh, he's talking about global warming, whatever. So, this goes back to my high school days when, I, when I, I was a good English student. I wasn't very good at math, but I was good at English writing. And so, one, once my teacher taught, taught me about metaphors, and I still put that to use today, and um, I Don't Want to Live on Mars is, is that type of song where it could be about a girl, it could be about somebody you love, but for me, it's about the planet, um, the earth, and um, I really, I enjoy that song because it's fun to sing and, and it, 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 it's have a message, but it's not, it's not bearing down on you. It's a very light, happy song with, with, a, with a very serious message. If, if you want it to be that, if you want it to be a love song about a girl, it can be that too. Being in a, in a state of mind of for me, writing song is, is a spiritual thing. It, it, it brings me closer to the, the, the things that we don't see but exist. The reason why I want to do this for a living is because I got inspired to write songs and to write songs that, that can have an impact in the world, that can have an impact on people, um, not just as an entertainment value, but as, a, a, as something that can raise consciousness, that can give people relief from difficulties or give them motivation.